Okay, everyone, I am about to customize this little pretty flamingo that I got from Target. So, and stick with me. We're going to make a succulent planter out of it. So, it's going to be so cute. Stick with me. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, this, it, I started out trying to do my um, Kismal Castle resin, trying to paint that for you, but I have to get some spray primer for it, and I didn't have any. Tried other kind of primer, it didn't work. So we're going to try something else. We're going to do this, and it's going to be on a speed thing, so you can just watch how I do it. I'll draw a design all over it. The base colors is going to be pink. So, of course, you know, it's a flamingo. I've got several of these, so, but this is going to be the first one for the booth. So, I hope you enjoy it. Let's see here. You get me a pencil. So, really, all I'm doing is I'm actually going to just make different shapes. I love the this right here where it goes under the wings and I'm just gonna go with that and leave that and this is how I'm gonna paint whoops now you can make mistakes like that it's okay it's gonna paint over it so it don't matter whether you draw a good drawing or whatever you paint over it you have to know what you're doing with paint and and everything so i love the fact that this comes up so let's go and make some pretty loops down like this and things like this i think i'm gonna love the loopies on this one and then this one we can just accent the the wings and I can actually put pretty um, diamonds on that so and this Okay, and so when you look at it from the side, you want to look at it from the front too, and you notice that it's on the front, it doesn't have anything. So we're going to go a little bit more of those curly cues, and we're going to try to copy it on this side. So we did a curly cue on this side, okay? So and it may change once we and I may be doing different on one side than the other one which is just fine okay I'm sure it looks different that's okay. And then we can go even bigger. And then we can make a line that goes down. That I don't like, but I can always fix that whenever we. Okay, so let's see. I love having. 
having all of these. And you can see where I'm getting the, <laughs> the, the graphite. And it's a little eye. I'm making them too big. Okay. And on his forehead, we can make a little teardrop. And I can put little diamonds in there or little anything really fun. Okay? And can put little round ones on the top and all the way back here. Blue, some really pretty ones. Like that. And then on the on the tail area round and then a little teardrop type of little things like that and that's that's really all you need to do and you know you can have little teardrops on top something like that all right now that gives me an idea of everything that I want to do. Okay. So, I don't know. That gets an idea and I got that all over me. <laughs> the graphite. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start off with a pink. And I do have a, a pink here and a lighter pink here. So, but I can make my own pink. Okay, I'm going to use this, and this is what I started with my castle. I'm not going to use those colors. I'm going to pour my own extra white, some more white over here. Start off with the pink. Make pink and pink, red and white. I should have put just a bunch in one little thing like this, but that's probably way too much red. I'd say. <laughs> we get the right pink and we will know it. And I think I just got it. It's really pink. Really, really, really pink. Okay. I'm going to start on one side. And we're going to lightly... See, I can still see. I'm going to lightly paint it. With this... Not thick. I want to be able to see my lines and we do like the darker pink on the bottom because this is more where the shadow is going to be okay just do all of it around here we want to make sure our edges around there and you can paint the bottom. But I want to make sure I use the paint I just mixed all the way around. I have to mix some more. Looks like. And it's okay if you get it other places. Some, well, I have red over here. I don't know why I had to go with more red from the other side. Okay. And these are little planners that you get from Target. Occasionally they'll have them like this. And you can decorate them. Great kids projects. If they want to decorate something. And if you like, now see I've got a little white mixing in there, which that's okay. 
it's just going to look more hand painted. You don't want to be perfect like a machine because then it doesn't really. And see, I'm not mixing it as good as I should. And see, I put all the dark pink on the bottom areas, the bottom sections. Okay? So that way you're doing your um, depth. Can't waste you. And we'll do this under here.
Hello everyone, I'm back and I have pretty much gotten finished with the uh, <laughs> flamingo. So, let's see. I'm going to get out of the way so it will focus on it. Now, my glue is still wet so I'm having to bump it up whenever they start to slide down. She's got some on her head. And I got a few little places I can touch up real quick. But I'm going to put the uh, foam in here with hot glue. I'll put it in there. Then I'm going to use this white decorated filler. Well, that's not what it is. I've, I'm using this container. That um, it almost looks like white um, rock, um, fish tank rocks, but it's not. It's from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I just used this because I didn't like it being in a bag. So instead of pebbles, I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to use my pink uh, tumble glass and a little bit of green for leaves. And we'll see how that turns out. But she's still drying. <laughs> I will have some little places to touch up, but overall, this is what she looks like on the back. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Let's see, focus on it. Okay. And she's got little jewels on the head. And she's a pretty little thing. Okay.
There you go. I got something done for you tonight. <laughs> and it's a cute little flamingo. I hope you like it. I'm sorry about my lighting. I should have done it in my craft room with a light on or a light on over here and that way you could see it better. But you could see the little succulent in there. I put a little green in there, a little contrast, and the little gravel. Let's see if you can see it in there. And I have a few little paint touch-ups here and there. I got the glue hanging on me. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to try to get the spray primer for my uh, castle that I had started. And I didn't get to finish. But um, I am going to paint that with you on there. I have someone on Etsy that wants one. So I'm hoping to, for them to be able to see that in the next video. So, everyone, I'm trying to do a few little things for the booth and everything. And, and this is sort of like diamond painting with the, the special drills, sort of, wouldn't you say? So, I could even have done all of this in diamond, in those, uh, in the little diamonds from diamond painting. I could have. And maybe I'll do one like that because I've got... I got two or three more, two or three more of these little um, flamingos. Let me know what you would like to see. And these will be available on my website, which is due to come out sometime this week. I know I say that, I say that a lot, but it's been very, very busy here. We've moved down to a new vendor mall on street level, so nobody has to go up stairs anymore so that took a lot we and i was helping my sister-in-law move her floral uh uh workshop and everything workspace there too and i'm gonna take a video of it the next time i go and let you see all the vendor shops and everything and and all our artwork together mom and me mom and dad all of our stuff together and um and and it's just a lot of stuff happening and then on the 28th everyone pray that my husband's uh pacemaker he's gonna have to have a pacemaker hope uh pray that all of that goes well and that the lord guides the uh doctor's hands and everything so that everything goes just perfect so and that he feels better and everything's great so anyways I'm glad I had some little something for you to do, for, for me to do for you on here. And just let me know what you think. And if you like this design for this little uh, flamingo, if you like it, if it's too simple, if it needs something else, let me know what you think. But really quick little, little craft. So if you're at Target and you see these little succulent planters like this that is rough, you can paint them with acrylic paint really easy and embellish them and you saw how I put the foam in here and secured it with the, the glue gun. I can turn that off now. <laughs> and, and then you just hot glue all this in there like I did in my last uh, video that I had put up on the channel. So let me know what you think. And if you do these, go to my Facebook page, Mim's House, and send me a PM message with a picture of yours and how you've decorated them. You can do them all kinds of different designs and shapes and different colors. They don't have to all be pink. So, <laughs> anyways, God bless each and every one of you for praying for us and for taking time out of your day to let me show you some of the crazy things we do here. So, until the next one, bye.